Hello everyone, went outdoors, back at the cabin, another bear baiting episode. It is July 5th. We were up here July 3rd that night. Yesterday was July 4th, obviously. We went on the boat. It was a beautiful, warm day out on the foliage. So we didn't go bait the bears because it was too hot and we had time. Uh, this time of year is kind of interesting because it's uh, <clears throat> they started running, they can start practicing running their dogs for bear uh, I think it's July 1st so I think I've noticed a difference on the baits there hasn't been as as much since the first of July you can tell and I suppose they have their own baits out too all over the place because so there's a lot more baits out there right now a lot more activity um, dog trucks I've seen quite a few running around so they're out running the hounds um, on these bear so I, I gotta believe that does change things it must push bears around and not as regular when they're feeding and everything so I have noticed a difference with the activity on the bait there's still a bear in there probably every day for sure uh, last night seven something I think there was a really nice one I had one picture so I can't wait to get the chip out of the camera again and and uh, see what else is on there for video and uh, you get a better idea of it and I, I like I said before in the other videos I pretty sure I don't get all my uh, stuff fed to my phone it seems like so i like to pull the chip put it in the computer and check it out it, today is a lot cooler it's rainy all day long it's supposed to be it's kind of sprinkling right now it rained a little bit last night so we figured today would be a better day to probably go bait anyways than yesterday in the 85 degree heat we did work on some stuff around the cabin cut some wood we're making a new path going through our woods for the kids with their uh, mini bikes and bikes and four-wheelers and and in the meantime, we're clearing out dead trees for campfire wood. So that's what we've been doing. And uh, we're going to get to bear bait and, ah, oh, crap. It's starting to rain harder now. I don't know. We'll get things loaded up, go bait the bear, and then uh, check out the videos. All right, here we are in the bait shed. And some days you walk in here, it's almost like walking into a grocery store, right? I see mom has some extra stuff out here. Let's put this over here. What does she have? Cookies. Looks like some cookies. They're probably. Did she just cookies? I don't know. Probably last, last time. Week. She's whatever stale or old. She just brings out here. What do we got? A couple of pretzel buns. Um, regular buns, right? Bun buns. Oh, a half a loaf of bread. Hot hot dog buns. Usually there's chips and stuff like that, right? So it's kind of nice. The bears are gonna get a little extra treat. Bread. Huh? A little extra treat. They like bread. Bread. Right? They'll eat anything in the season. Cookies. We can make sandwiches out of those buns with the cookie sandwiches. Yeah. You know? Oh, pretzel buns. Mmm. Those are pretty good. Put a couple cookies inside the bun so that when they think they're eating just a pretzel bun and all of a sudden, oh, it's a cookie too. Mmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. A little snack. Oh, there. So we're gonna this is the proper way to bake it. We're going to do a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie sandwich. All right. Yep. Okay. Put a cookie in each one. There you go. Use this. this is how you should be baiting, right? It's little sandwiches on the bottom of the phone. Very nice. Alright. Good job. Let's fill them up. Cookie. Perfect. Alright. Here we are. In the rain, huh? Oh, we're committed though. We're here now. Maybe it won't get as wet when we're under the trees, right? I have a feeling we're gonna get a little damp. But it's gotta be done, right? It's the life of a bear baiter, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we're at the bait. Still raining, but I was looking, there's a picture well, we'll go through it when we see the chips, but July 4th, 729, that was last night, right? Mm -hmm. And you're standing behind this tree right here, right? So looking at this tree, I know it's an angle of the camera is a little bit down. It's not, the camera's only six and a half, seven feet tall, right? So it's not like it's, you're looking down at these bears, but going up the tree, his back was right here. So here's this little hump in the tree. 
And it looks like here's where it kind of gets dark for this indentation. But yeah, he's like, he's like this tall. Huh? Mm hmm. I think that's a pretty big one, isn't it? Yeah. And his back feet are over here and his front feet are over here. So, so he's like. Yeah, I, it, hopefully we got a good video of him coming through, huh? Mm hmm. But yeah, he's up like this. 7 30 last night. Then there's some other decent ones, but I like having sometimes people do that with, with their bear baits too. You may put a stick in the ground or a, a pole or mark a tree two feet, three feet, you know, so that you get a gauge on your camera how big these bear are, how tall. Because it, sometimes it's deceiving, you know, you look at the pictures, you look at the videos, and, oh, that's a nice one. I know it's happened to us in the past. You tend to overjudge these boy bears, right? Mm -hmm. Like all the bears we've ever had on a camera in the past. And then when we actually see them in person, we're like, oh, they're not quite as big as we thought, right? Mm -hmm. They just look, especially with all that hair and fur on them, they look bigger than, when you see them in person, it's not quite the same. So we kind of, I tend to give them the benefit of the doubt as far as being lighter than, I'm guessing. Like if I think that's a 200 pound bear, I'm thinking it's probably 150. Mm -hmm. It's kind of how it's been. Cause they always look so nice and big when they're alive and you know, the hair's all puffed out. I was thinking here and stuff. I think I've only, I don't know if I've walked in. I've walked in on bears on the bait when we've hunted before, maybe baiting. But I'm always the last like, year always like behind my, I always want to be cautious of what we're doing. You know, like, you don't know. I mean, you can only see about 25 yards all the way around here, right? Yeah. Because it's so thick this time of year. So, and it's so quiet right now. Your those pads are really quiet in the in the in the woods. The bear with their pads in their feet when they're walking already. You seem to like never hear them come in when you're hunting. I know. And like mind you, we never know until he's there until no, all of a sudden he's there. And now it's raining on top of it. There's noise in the woods, so that bear could have come walking from anywhere. And not that they attack us but if there's food here you know but just always on the lookout that's why you always see me in the videos always looking <laughs> looking around because i'm always looking for a bear all right you watch parker's technique he's the master baiter he's got a great technique for baiting these bears right you know just how to dump those buckets in there and we got our little bread in there we may have put a couple little candies i found in one of the barrels huh Mm -hmm. Those like uh, red, chewy, gooey, I don't know if they're like cinnamon, we had them. Oh, some more pretzel buns. There's the sandwiches that Parker made. Huh? Oh, just pack that in there. Pack that in there. He knows what he's doing. There is a technique to it. Not everybody could do this, right? This is like rocket surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You need to go to school for this for years. Experience how to dump buckets into a hollowed out log. Now also watch as he uses his superhuman strength to place the lid. That thing's probably six, 700 pound lid, right? Mm -hmm. We specially made them and uh, filled lead filled them. So it's hard for them to get off. It's pretty nice. Lead filled them. All right, I'm gonna spray it and get out of here before it starts raining again and we get really wet. But it doesn't hurt to have my bear baiting uniform washed once in a while with the rain. Huh? Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little tacky, even though it was washed at the beginning of the year. But it's been a month. It's been a month, huh? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it Memorial Day weekend? Yeah. So it's been over a month of baiting. Master baiting? Shut up. You can also tell that Parker is a master baiter for his footwear that he wears. I just noticed this. It's embarrassing that I have to show you this, but here he is in Crocs. He's wearing Crocs. He's wearing Crocs walking in the woods in the rain, bear baiting. Crocs. They are camouflage Crocs, right? <laughs> God. Kids. Let's go out of here. Let's go check the chip. All right, here we are back on the Went Outdoors porch. Put the chip in the computer, right? And uh, 
There's a glare with these lights. First videos, of course, are us spraying down black, black squirrel. squirrel. Again. And then we got Mr. Little Guy. Should name him. He's a pie in there the most, huh? Yeah, he's very small though. Yeah. I don't know if he's even 100 pounds. No, not even. He's not taller than the bear bait. Yeah. He got it He's over probably there. last year's cub. He probably you know, like just kicked this away year, or something. This year he's probably first year with yeah. the mom. Coons. 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 Well, that's probably him, huh? Yeah, that's the one on again. Mr. Call him Jeffrey or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Crow. Ooh, a crow. That's, that's a Beautiful big, crow. Big crow. And his buddy. That the, one looks a little bigger. That is a little bigger one, yeah. Hmm. Oh, was it windy? windy. And, the, whole, and there's a rabbit. Yeah, the whole camera is moving because the tree is moving, and that tree is on the thick part of the tree. Jeez. Awesome. awesome. Big old rat. Deer. Mm. Doe. Doe. See, I never had this on my Your phone. phone. There's a better one just roaming through. Yeah. Not huge, but. It's still small and skinny. Yeah. Sniffing all over the place where we sprayed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see how big his ears look? His head looks small, skinny small and beard. huge ears. Well, there you go. I think that that's the little bit bigger one. Yeah. Is that the... Are they brothers, sisters? It might be a sow and a boar and a sow. Yeah. It might be the same ones we had last week. Yeah, there was those two that were pretty But they're, they're decent bears, both of them. Wait, I'll hold, go back. Yeah, that'd be a decent one going off in the corner there. I just came in and sniffed it. Mm -hmm. That's probably him. No, that's, that's a good one. Him, See the difference in the head yeah. snap here versus that other one? It's a good one. Mm hmm. Thick neck. Ooh. That's a giant bear. Holy crap. See, I did have one picture of one yeah. like that on my camera. And I'm like, that looks like a pretty good one. That was, it's a big bear. That thing's huge. And it's not old peg leg poo bear with a broken <laughs> leg one, right? This is, I think he's in that stump we poured some stuff in there, huh? Sprayed mm -hmm. stuff in that thing. It's a big bear, though. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that might be 400. Yeah, I would say it's somewhere in there. Like I said, you look at it, you always overestimate. You're like there's a 500 pounder, 600 pounder, but in reality it's probably a 350, 400, which is a giant bear. Yeah. You know, people don't realize how big a three, 400 pound bear is because they look, they're used to seeing like these thousand pound video grizzly bear, bears. grizzly bears and stuff, yeah. and then when they hear, oh, it was only 300. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah, grizzly bears get huge. They get up to like 1,200 pounds. Yeah. Imagine how big that would be. Mm -mm, okay. That that would be a fun hunt. Grizzly bear hunt? Yeah. Yeah. We should do that. Dangerous hunt. Yeah. If you have a rifle, stay a good distance. Yeah. I've never seen so many rabbits before like this year. I think they're all over. There's up in there, there's one there. Yeah. Those are like baby rabbits. This is crawling with a rabbit. Bear. Decent. That's a decent one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bear. That's the same one, I think. Mm -hmm. I walked out. July 1st. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Nothing about that bear. He doesn't look as heavy, but he's he's taller. He's a bigger bear. And then there's Jeffrey. Jeffrey. I think that's the one that's a little bit bigger. Think so? Yeah. That one looked. Because Jeffrey is like as tall as the bait oh, when it's full. 
Yeah, that, that would be what I think. This? I this, think. He looks stockier than... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the same one, but... I don't different know. Different angles. When you look, you know, see, that's a bigger one. Right? Mm -hmm. That's not Jeffrey. That's, that's definitely That's a pretty decent one, actually. That's a... Coyote. Uh, that? Or, or is that a wolf? It looks too tall for a coyote. Pretty sure that's a wolf. A skinny one. Did you huh? get that on your phone? There was one picture of one I thought it was a coyote, but that looks, that's way too tall for a coyote. And his face looks different. Yeah. There's the fisher. Huh? Usually <laughs> every year we get one a fisher on one bait or something. I remember last year in the swamp we had two fishers on there all the time. Mm-hmm. They're cool. Look at that thing. So now I think we're almost to the point where we've gotten every animal in the in the state. Because yeah. this crow is now a wolf. Fishers. We had a coyote, coyote. one time. We didn't we don't have a fox yet. We have deer no. now. We'll eventually have a fox. We Sasquatch. always Sasquatch. We've had one glimpse of one, didn't we? Yeah. We did? Mm -hmm. In the back. Yeah. Running through. Mm-hmm. Oh that's a skinny face one. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not but bad. It's just needs to needs to gain some weight. Put on some weight, which they will. I remember in the past. I mean, you have months of eating, so some of these bears you see early. Oh, that's that's a coyote. Fox. That's a oh, fox. that's a fox. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that one was a coyote. Look at them. It just the glare made it look not so red, but yeah. It looked yeah. That's the same one again. It's a pretty good bear. It's tall. Mm-hmm. You know, it just doesn't hit. Good one. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Another one. So you can tell the difference in the size of the shorter. He's stocky, but He's short. so much shorter. You know. There's us. See, whatever picture that was I was talking about on the... It the wasn't tree. there. That big one. Yeah, I know. I have a picture of it. I can put that in here when we're talking about it, maybe. But it, uh... It wasn't on there, but it fed to my phone. It's weird. It was July 4th. Oh, oh, yeah, if I look back on the computer, it's 729, July 4th. Right there. Yeah. Use a tiny a foot. foot. So I took the picture, and then it, that's what the camera it does take. It takes a picture and a video. So that bear must have just literally came in, smelled it, and then when it was leaving, took a picture, and then the video starts. Dang it! That was the best one I think on the. But we did have that huge one. Oh, well, hey Peyton, perfect timing. We just finished it up. <laughs> like I, think I, ex I expected this week to be not as much, you know, because I think more people are starting to bait. For one thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's dogs are running now, and just a combination of maybe probably all that that there wasn't as many, but there was still. Well, there's a little guy, the bigger one. There's a couple that are probably medium or one, and then there's so there's still a half a dozen bear, I, I think, different ones in the last week. Not hitting as much, but every day there's that one really nice one that's from 350 to 400 pounds. Right? Mm -hmm. It's nice to see him around. I wish I could have got the video of that, the one I was just talking about that was in the day, had a good, it walked behind that tree so you could see how tall it was. And in that picture, it's a nice bear. The one yesterday? Yeah. But the video started the video as he's leaving. So all the guys, a glimpse of his foot leaving the screen. Because so it takes like his whole front feet and it's back. Because it takes feet. a picture and then you it just doesn't. just couldn't see its head. Right. So, but that's promising, right? So he's got to keep keep baiting them. Um, hopefully we can get somebody to bait uh, next week and the week after. Because I'm going to, next week, Thursday at night, I think I leave for Canada for a whole week. Then I come back and be working at EA. So I don't think, I don't know how much I'm going to be up here in the next two weeks. So hopefully we can get somebody to, somebody to bait. Um, for us. For, maybe Leroy can, but he's going to be going to Canada too. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But maybe Uncle Keith, they're coming today, I think. So maybe he can run up one of the days when we're... And just throw out a couple buckets. That's all I'm asking is just to 
kind of keep the bait going. Granted, they're and maybe it's a good time to stop baiting that one, you know, because if, if they're running dogs in the area and then they're constantly finding out those dogs are going to be on or find out where those bear are coming from or scent leads them to that bait, you know, it'll just be more activity. Maybe leave it alone for a while and then start baiting it more in August, but. We'll see. I don't know. Some say they don't matter when they run dogs. Some say they do, but it's got to, it definitely got to change things with getting chased around. And I don't know how far they chase them, how fast they tree, but definitely changes things up. So we'll, uh, we'll keep the bait going for now and add some more here in about a month, end of the month. We're going to add two to three more baits, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is the end of this bear baiting video. It's July 5th today already. July 5th. Mm -hmm. Right? But thanks for watching, and we're going to continue with the bear baiting journey. Right? And see if we can get us a bear for at the end of the end of the summer, early September for Lane. Be his first bear. What is he, 12? 11? Yeah. 11 or 12? He's a year younger than me. Yeah. Leroy's giving him his tag, his points, and... And then hopefully get a couple more bear around here in the area from our friends. And uh, the journey continues, huh? The journey continues. Right? So from all of us that went outdoors, thank you for watching. And like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. But this is all possible because we went outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> Peyton shouts from the other side. Uh -huh.